Welcome back to part two of our discussion on Ableton 7's drum racks. In this segment, we'll be looking at how to apply a VST synthesizer to the drum rack. In this case, I've gone over to my VSTs and I've brought in the Absinthe. Now what I've done is I've taken and dragged it into a pad. Got kind of an acid type sound going. If I double click this, it'll actually bring up Absinthe over here. I can hit the plug and edit button and it brings up the actual synth. Hear the whole range of that sound. What I can do now, just like with the drums, I can click on the item and I can open my chain list. And you'll see I can pan it if I want to. To the left or right. For the moment, I'm going to keep it in the middle. Now, if I go up to Session View, open my Session Mixer, and go over to the Absinthe right here, I can actually set where that note begins. And I can also set which pad that's applied to. But I'm going to take it back up a little bit. Notice that when I hold down the pad, it'll actually play out that entire sequence. Now one thing I can also do is I can apply the XY controller to uh, control different parts of the absence. So if I go here, I can actually assign macro controls or basic uh, release, sustain, decay, or attack. In this case, maybe I want the attack and the pan to be controlled by that. Now one thing to keep in mind when we load a VST into the drum rack is that you're going to want to apply separate effects to that drum rack. If I double click on the Absinthe, you'll see I have the Absinthe over here, but I want to specifically apply some sort of effect to that. In this case, it might be a delay. So let's go up here into our live device browser and grab a ping pong delay. I'm going to take that and drag that onto the actual pad that Absinthe 4 is part of. Now notice that it pops up next to my Epson 4, and I can actually tweak it while using this device. So I'm going to solo my drum rack and play my Epson. You can hear the basic ping pong delay taking effect. If I go through here, I can actually set feedback, try wet signal, and the rate of delay. Now other effects can be applied separately as well. Um, I can apply a compressor to that. 